Streamlabs is sponsoring me to teach you how to take a YouTube clip and post it on social media, edit it more effectively for TikTok, Instagram Reels, you name it, YouTube Shorts, Facebook videos. They've created this new desktop application, it's cloud-based, uh, to post and to edit your clips. Also, there's a companion mobile app I'm gonna show you how to use. In order to get that YouTube clip, let's start here in the tutorial with just grabbing the clip itself. This is one of my digital consulting clients, m &J TV. He's just got some gameplay here of him playing Minecraft. So go to your video if you wanna follow along with me today. So what you're gonna do is find the spot in the video that you want to clip, at roundabout, and then stop your timeline there on YouTube right there. Log into YouTube. Then you'll see the clip function down here in the bottom below the video. Hit that scissors clip button. And then what that's going to do is pull up this additional uh, mini editing window here on YouTube where you can add a description. I'm going to call this clip five. You call yours something very descriptive so you know what yours is called. And what you're going to do is trim the fat on this clip uh, to where it starts with the action it ends with action and you don't have any fluff in between really really important to find that uh, good clip that is not going to waste any of your viewers time then once you find that and there will be a limitation of 60 seconds here you go ahead and hit the share clip button right there and boom it will instantly export that clip YouTube servers are so good, even faster than Twitch's, and you'll have the URL of the clip listed right here. Go ahead and hit copy on that URL right here with the copy button, and then you'll be able to bring that into cross clip. Here's cross clip. If you don't know how to access it, it's free to access it, by the way crossclip.com link in the description below as well and what you're going to do is go to this url bar here you're going to paste Control v paste whatever your clip url hit get clip and as you'll see it will start importing the clip here into cross clip beta for you to be able to edit in my experience that import process can take up to a minute uh, most of the time it takes just a few seconds like we saw there. Great. So what you're going to do here in the editing window, first things first, is you are going to select your output format. So you got to choose which platforms you're looking to post on. Is it TikTok and YouTube Shorts? You'll want portrait format. If you're wanting to post on YouTube, it's landscape format. If you're wanting Instagram and Facebook, it's square format. I did a tutorial video on Twitch clips where I did portrait. So today we'll just choose square randomly. You can choose which formats that you want, okay? And then what I recommend doing is going to the layouts tab right here uh, in the top and then choosing a default layout that you think would be particularly interesting for your uh, you know, for your particular uh, setup. For Square, they don't have a lot of great layouts here. These are mostly for portrait. So, you know, you're not gonna have as many options for Square, but letting you know these layouts are here in portrait mode, got it? Cool. So once you have your square piece of content here in the output window, you're going to need to put together a compelling, uh, you know, piece of content that's going to fit in there. How? Well, as you can see, you have two compositional elements. You have the camera here. So we're going to drag our camera over to the face of our talent today, who is Michael from MNJ TV. Uh, and then what we're going to do here is put the content uh, section over wherever the action is in the clip. And so let's say the action is right here in the center of the screen for this particular clip. Uh, then we're going to put our window right there to show the action uh, so everybody can see what's going on. Got it? Then we're going to trim the beginning of the clip uh, in the end of the clip to where only the action is happening in the clip. For when we post it on socials, it is going to be nice and clean uh, with no junk in the middle and it's only showing interesting things. Got it? So you go ahead and choose whatever that will be for your clip. I'll let you make those decisions here by using this trim timeline down here in the bottom uh, to make those good decisions on what will be engaging to your audience. Check. Now, there's a bunch of other additional features that you can use to make this clip awesome. So first things first, as you can see, uh, everything's jam a lambed over here on the left-hand side of this output. You can move this into the center, the content here into the center if you'd like, or you can expand the content if you'd like to have it cover more of the screen. As you can see, there's a gap on the side. Uh, and maybe this isn't the format that you want to use. So what you can do for your content is you can choose for content different shaped content squares. So let's say you want the entire square of your output to have, uh, you know, the actual content filling the whole thing. Here under content layer, you can choose square. 
And so when you do that, what you're going to do is wiggle around the window here, as you can see in the input section, and it's going to turn your content square into square. And so now that's the shape that you want for your output. So now I'm capturing a square here, and then now I will get a square here. Uh, which is great. So that will help you fill that window, as you can see, now with all content noblers in the background. And let's say you didn't want this camera to be landscape format like this. Let's say you wanted that also to be square. So what you can do under camera is go choose square. You guys are getting it. It's pretty easy, right? Then you're going to go over here to the left under the camera. Go ahead and resize it and wiggle it around a little bit. And then boom, now you have a square shaped camera right here. And then that's going to bring over a square shaped camera right here into your uh, output window. Got it? So you can arrange these however you want. You can put them wherever you want. This is just an example. I'm just showing you the functionality. And this particular clip is particularly crazy because they have a bunch of edits in here <laughs> where his head is flying around all over the place. Uh, so you can do whatever you want with your content. This is just an example. Now, there's a couple features here that are paid features that you need to know about. So by default, the watermark will be on and the outro will be on, which will have branding related to cross clip or whatever. If you want to turn those off, you're going to need to pay for the pro version of the software. Uh, so you go to crossclip.com slash pro. And for only five bucks a month right now, you can upgrade it. You get a discount if you do the annual plan, as you can see. And you're going to get the watermark taken off the final video. It'll remove the outro. You can export in 1080p 60 FPS, which is great. And you can do additional layers. And you can upload videos to the platform up to 100 megabytes. So a lot of great features there. It's totally worth the five bucks, in my opinion. And so you'll be able to turn off the watermark and outro right there if you pay. Now the extra layers, what do I mean by extra layers? So what you can do is hit the add layer button here and as you can see it adds layer zero. And so layer zero just shows up right here. So let's say I wanted to capture not only the camera here, but also the content. Let's say there's some secondary content I wanted to capture. Maybe something funny is happening in chat or something over here. Just an example, right? Or a second camera is over there or whatever, it, you, you pick. Layer zero is going to capture that. And as you can see, layer zero is now usable in the final output of the final video that we're going to be able to post on social media. You can size it up like anything else, as you can see here, and you can uh, choose what size that it is or what shape that it is over here in the options. Once everything's good, you can go ahead and lock everything or unlock everything using these buttons, or you can garbage can whatever you want if you don't want layers anymore, easy couple interesting editor options that you should know about. As you can see in both of these windows over here on the input side and on the output side, there's these giant colored boxes. Let's say you don't want to see the colored boxes and you want to see what the content will actually look like on social media. You can go ahead and just turn that off. And then when you go look at the output, it'll show you the clean output. Okay. And then if you want it back so you can resize everything, turn them back on and then boom, you'll have the boxes there again. That's it. It's very simple, easy to use editing interface. And when you're done creating the content, you're going to hit compile. Once you do, you're going to name the clip something clever, uh, something good. You may name it something descriptive. I'm just going to put something generic there. You can choose your frame rate up to 60 FPS uh, because I've paid for pro. You can choose 1080p is a no brainer, obviously. And rocket boosters. I don't know why you wouldn't want to turn on rocket boosters. It will make the clips compile speed six times faster. I want six times faster. Turn it on and hit start compilation. Then it will start to pull together the clip for you and process that on the cloud. Now, what you're going to want to do now is make sure, take this moment to download the CrossClip mobile app. Uh, so this is available on Android and iOS. If you don't already have it, download it, install it, and log in. Because once you export the clip, here in CrossClip, it will show up in the mobile app, uh, which is great. Uh, so once this window, there it is, and the clip's already ready. That was very fast. And so here's your clip. I'll show you how it pops into the mobile app in a moment. So now I'm reviewing the clip here on desktop. You can either download the file on desktop. You can share it on social media on desktop. You can edit it again on desktop, or you can delete it. Pretty sweet, right? But then here's the cool part is that it shows up in your mobile app. 
uh, the companion app that comes along with this. And look, boom, there it is in my mobile app. This is me using it in real time. There's our clip right there in my library. We just made it. And so if you select your clip, just by clicking on it, it'll pull it up on your mobile app and start previewing it. And you can watch the clip and then you hit share and it should parse all of the uh, social media platforms that you have installed on your phone so that you can easily just post on socials. I'm going to do a separate tutorial on how to post, but this is how you get it on your phone to quickly post and more easily post, especially on TikTok and Instagram. It's way easier, obviously, to use mobile than to try to get some desktop workaround going to post your clip on those platforms. That's how you pull a YouTube clip edit it on the cloud and have it so that you can post on socials. I very, very highly recommend a workflow where you sit down and clip like your entire week's worth of clips all at once in one cross clip session, then get them all dumped onto your phone uh, so that you can have them all uh, right there in your fingertips so you can post them throughout the week on socials. Uh, so you can just sit down in editing mode one time and then post throughout the week as you see fit. Got it? Good. Check out the links below if you want to check out CrossClip. And thank you to Streamlabs for sponsoring this tutorial.